Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little house tour for you guys, a Valentine's Day house tour. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button and while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're always notified whenever I post. And with that being said, let's move on to the house tour. So I guess we'll just start off with the coffee table. I have this little guy, he's actually an ornament. I think I got him from Walmart a couple years ago. And he's just sitting on some coasters next to some of these little heart tea light candles, the little fake ones. I think I got these from Dollar Tree. And I'll try to mention as many items as possible, but if I do miss an item or if there's an item that you just have to know where I got it from, please just leave it in the comment section and I will let you know. That is the new mug I got this year, TJ Maxx, filled with some hearts. I have some hearts on the bottom. And then of course, I have a love aromatherapy candle from Bath & Body Works. And um, this actually is like a cake stand. So I normally have this on top. But I took it off so that you could see without the glare. So that is it for the coffee table. We'll move on to the couch. I, of course, have my festive pillows and throw blankets. There's one there. And red and pink, of course. And then one of my favorite blankets right here. And then another red blanket right there. And then when we look right above, I have uh, this wall. Really gorgeous. When we turn over here, we have some bows and ornaments. And some hearts, of course. Then when we turn around, we have fireplace and the TV on the screen I usually just put like a screensaver or a video from YouTube to create more of an ambiance I'll give you a quick overview here are some little heart plants that I made the sticks themselves I got from Hobby Lobby and then the rest of the stuff I got from I think Dollar Tree and just put them together. They look like little conversation hearts. I have some on the other side, which I will show you. And I have some of these cardboard hearts and some more bows. And these are actually lights, but of course when I'm filming, I can't find any of the batteries. So those do light up. And then we have some roses with some heart picks and a teddy bear some ornaments. These are actually Christmas ornaments, of course, but then I do have some of these yarn hearts, which I actually made. Then we have a mailbox with some hearts, a little gnome on top of the candle, a love sign, another gnome, and another mailbox. I've been struck by Cupid. There's a bunch of little hearts coming out. And there's another teddy bear. And more roses, of course. So that is the mantle. And as promised, here are the other two. I love these conversation hearts and I actually reuse them for Easter. So that is what this side of the room looks like. And then we come over here. We have my Valentine's Day tree. This was actually from a rose bouquet that I got for Valentine's Day. And that's my teddy bear red velvet. And of course I have Mickey here. His heart, oh no, his heart fell down. And for the bottom of the tree, I just have some chocolate boxes that I kept over the years. This one is so pretty. It's like velvety. I used to store like earrings and rings and stuff in this, but 
Now I just use it for decor. And for the tree itself, I got these little ornaments, these little heart ornaments. So cute. I think I got it from either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. And then I reused some of these Christmas sticks, picks and sticks, you know, to add a little whimsy. And then these are so pretty. I love this color. I really want to get a taller white Christmas tree so I can decorate for Valentine's Day a little better. This one just seems too short. I don't know. But that also makes it super cute. <sighs> Hopefully one day. Anyways, right by that is the window. We have some garland. And then, walk over here. I have another display. I normally display my mugs here, but I had some extra Valentine's Day decor. These are the new Valentine's Day gingerbread houses that I got, and I am in love. They look so pretty. And then that is also new from Home Goods. And then I have this little kissing booth, and you can actually flip it to say closed or open. And then we have this little Cupid stop here sign. And I actually never took this off after buying it, but you just press it to turn it on. And my apothecary jars and another mailbox. And these hearts are actually dry erase, so you can write whatever you want on them. And of course I have fairy lights. And then I have garland right on top for the stairs. And then here we have the dining room set up. Some bows on the back of the chairs with some ribbon. And I folded the napkins to look like hearts with a little love letter on top. And some more of those heart tea lights. And then next to each plate, I have a little wine glass filled with some hearts and a mini straw. And then in the center, I have this tiered tray. Filled with all sorts of goodies. So, so pretty. And this tablecloth is like this iridescent color sequins so it really glistens in the light and then I have a sequin runner as well in pink and I reuse all this for Easter as well and then I have this little foam heart thing for the bottom of the tear tray and then right here we have some ornaments and bows and of course my heart wreath and this is right next to coffee station. We have my little Keurig. Typically I put this here. Let's see. There it is. It's just like a little mug of love. A little teacup. And we have my two Starbucks cups that went with the theme, which we actually use as water cups. I actually got this from a cookie cake for Valentine's Day. Then some more goodies, and of course, this tier tray is more like bakery themed with a little rolling pin and the sprinkles. So there's that. For the kitchen, I didn't do too much. I just added some bows on both of these cabinets. And I also have some bows on the light fixtures in the kitchen. And then I added some festive tea towels. I always have towels that match for the season. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for my Valentine's Day house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day!